Hi everyone. So I wanted to talk to you guys about a simple project I started back in December, which was a resin cure station, or a box. Where I live up in northern Indiana, it can get quite cold through the winter months, and when you're working with a thermal set resin, that can be very problematic because you need temperatures generally between 70 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit for most resins to cure. Some can go a little bit lower, uh, depending on the hardener you use, but generally speaking, most of them I've ever worked with is 70 to 80. And being able to control the temperature is very helpful because if you add a little temperature to like over what it's generally needed to cure, you can speed up the process. Um, so I made this very simple, kind of crude box just using an infrared light and different um, insulation. I'm going to put links down in the description so you can find and buy exactly the stuff I made uh, made this box out of because I made it a little bit under $20 or right around $20 and I still had plenty of the uh, reflective material left over because originally I was going to do a much bigger box but this one was convenient because it was an old chest that was about to get dumped anyways because it's all old and cracked and uh, kind of you know served its purpose and was worn out so I just ended up cutting a hole drilling or screwing the um, the light fixture under the roof added the reflective material in it and put a light uh, infrared bulb in it so anyways I'm going to just share this with you it's a very simple build it's pretty straightforward exactly what I said but I'll show you what it looks like and I ended up using the high density polyethylene plates or the milk jug plates that I made earlier uh, I ended up curing them in that just to test it but there's also some higher temperature resins that you have to cure at about 100 degrees or higher that are heat resistant that I'm kind of interested in checking out in the future now if you live in a, a climate that's pretty well rounded on temperature year round or the evening sun get too cold you might not have to build something like this but the final product or of this project is going to be drilling a hole so that way I can vacuum bag in there and possibly adding a, f a fan so that way I can with the light and the fan can get a consistent temperature within the box rather than it just going up to a certain temperature and leaving it cracked in order to control it that way but that's going to be futuristically so for now this is just a real simple straightforward and hopefully you guys enjoy and please like share and subscribe and suggest stuff that you might want to see built inside of it so thank you so I uh, took this box and I was gonna originally build a much larger box for this project but I decided to start small kind of a smaller scale and this is an old chest that I found um, that was destined for the dump picked it up for free I uh, proceeded to find the center of it it was about three feet across so it would fit most of the smaller designs that I had and uh, found the center of it and pr drew, lightly traced a circle around the center after pre-drilling it and carved it out so I could fit this light fixture in. This is like a four to five inch light fixture you can get on Amazon for about five bucks and the infrared light bulb is about six and that insulation that I'm using there is fourteen dollars at Lowe's. It's um it's called I believe Reflect X or Reflectix um, silver bubble wrap insulation. I also found um, some fiberglass insulation as you can see I put it in the bottom. I was gonna do all the sides with it but I realized it was unnecessary um, to do that. I just did it in the bottom to add a little bit more insulation from the cold concrete that is on the uh, in my garage. And so I lined the bubble wrap using just some cheap spray glue and I ended up stapling it later on in the video you'll see but I, it, this is so simple it was just a basic thing but controlling temperature when you're making resin is very critical and I've had projects in the past that have been ruined from I mean ruined it's really hard to restart a resin that's partially cured if impossible not impossible um, to start a resin that's partially cured and stopped. Um, 
So keeping the that, that temperature is very important if you're gonna do these kind of projects by yourself in your own garage. And temperature is the main factor. Another one is moisture. But having a cure box like this also kind of helps with that because I can preheat that box, get it up to temperature, help bring out the moisture in the box so it's nice and dry. Um, and doing the cleaning surfaces beforehand, getting all dust and moisture possibly on surfaces when you're laminating is important too because it can create bubbles. As you can see here though, I just cut each of them to size, trim them around, and glue them into place. And then I will screw the light fixture in and put in the bulb. And I mean, it's that straightforward. And I was able to reach temperatures just with a a reptile heating lamp that close in that box I was able to reach temperatures of upwards of 120 to 130 degrees when it was closed and when it was cracked open with the Stanley blade I was able to get it up to about 75 to 80 degrees which is ideal for the resin that I was using in these projects but what's great about this is in future projects I can actually reach the temperatures that I wanted to reach which is up upwards of 120 so as you can see now I'm just placing a few staples to help keep it in place because that was some cheap glue that I did and this cost right under $20 uh, or I would say probably 25 to 30 depending on if you were going to get the wood and build the box yourself you know you'd need to invest in hinges and things like that but uh, I mean, so simple but it will work and it does work for all these future projects so you'll be seeing this a lot in my videos to come. All right, it's been a few days since I started on this little project of making a cure box. I uh, had a few projects I wanted to do in it, so sadly the little thermometer that I had put on there just didn't really work because the internal temperatures reach upwards of 120 to like 130, which will be nice for certain resins that I want to use that require a much higher temperature but for this purpose I just needed it to be reaching right around 85 to 90 for this cheaper polyester resin um, that's why I have it propped open with a Stanley blade but it works it keeps a very consistent temperature throughout obviously directly under the uh, little light bulb is much hotter but still I mean it's working it's able to maintain temperature consistent temperature through the evening and into the night so I was able to laminate up two plates this is for my HDPE video if you guys want to check that one out where we will be testing HDPE for ballistics and both fiberglass and ballistic nylon fabric were used in that lamination so the next step is going to be eventually to maybe add a fan of some sort so I can cool it down if the temperature gets a little too crazy and also to cut a hole so I can vacuum bag inside but propping it open and just leaving the lamp on and everything has managed to keep it pretty warm in there so I'm definitely pleased for it's a very simple solution but and when it gets cold out it's really important to keep a warm temperature inside uh, well when you're curing resin in general you want to maintain temperature each of them have different cure times and you know it'll take much longer to cure and sometimes won't com cure completely through a laminate if you drop below a certain temperature so always read the directions on those sort of things whenever you're any kind of epoxy and stuff remember that temperature is a very important factor so even a simple little box like this will become very helpful so uh, if you guys like this video please uh, like share and subscribe and suggest some projects you would like to see me laminate up in the next few months I'm gonna be jamming out on a lot of different projects and this box will definitely come in handy for some of the higher temperature resins I want to use so anyways uh, I'm James Stagg and this is Tech This Out Meow hopefully you guys enjoyed it later